Do you ever get so involved in your painting, you look down at your palette and it's such a mess, you don't know where your colors are? Well, that happens to me often. I'm going to show you what I do about it. Now this is the kind of mess I'm talking about. In fact, I have gotten them messier than this to the point where if I want to reach for a color, there's some areas where I might be able to find a pure color. There are other areas where the color is gone. I've lost complete control. When you lose control of your palette, the best thing to do is to stop and regroup. At least I found that's the best thing to do. And so here's the way I like to do it. And also there's a little payoff at the end I'll show you. So I have, this is just a window scraper. And, of course, I, the palette that I use is, um, is a Value 5 palette. It's already gray. And, and, so, um, and also, this particular palette is, is a plastic palette, so I have to be careful. Uh, my main studio palette is a glass palette, so I, it works a little, I can work a little easier on it. But with this one, all I do here is I just scrape away all this paint, everything that's not pure color. I scrape away. Now there's no need to scrape away where there is pure color, but where, where it's gotten so mixed and jumbled that I can no longer read it as a color, I scrape it away. So I scrape here, and I've got this thing kind of, kind of an angle there. I'll push it this way. See, I've got this nice, 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 nice uh, pile gathering here. And let's just push this away here. Now, I don't throw that away. I may find that useful later. Because I know that when painting, a lot of times the most exciting areas in a painting can be caused by using neutrals. And I know that this is going to give me a neutral. So I will scrape it off and I'll put it on another area of the, of the palette, usually on the side like this. Now let's just stir that up. And I hope that you can see that. Look at that wonderful neutral gray I got. That's kind of a middle value neutral gray. And that can I can see how that might be very usable. Now, um, what else do I have up here? Can I do any more scraping with this scraper? If you've seen uh, other quick tips where I have uh, talked about the palette, I like to use a value line uh, when I set up my colors. Um, oh, before I do that, I see other color I need to scrape away. All right, so right here on that white, I have really messed up my white. I really messed up my white. Now, one color I certainly need to be pure is the white. So, if I need to lighten a color, and I reach into that mess, I'm not only going to lighten, but I'm going to change the color as well. So, let's get that nice and nice and clean. And let's see, my yellow orange here got just a little bit of the contamination in it. Let's just throw that into the white right there. Now let's see where else. Where else? Um, yeah, I've got some con contamination right here. And this one I was about to talk about. Um, there's not enough there to worry about, so I'll just dump that. The new, the uh, Value Five palette that I, the Value Five palette setup that I like to use. You can always see some of it left over right here, and that is uh, whatever colors, whatever um, palette colors I'm using. I set them up in a value line so that when I refurbish the palette, I'll need to set up new value lines. So before I do that, let me get all this wiped away. Now just wipe that away with a clean paper towel so I can see where I'm going. Now I'm going to do something else I often do, and that is if I've got a stray color, which I put some of the place on the palette and it's not contaminated, I'll throw it back into Oh, it's it's position on the palette there and the next thing is oh, th since it's oil since it's oil I will dip a little piece of paper towel in some Gamsol right here and wipe away the rest of it I want it nice and clean almost as if I'm setting it up for the for the first or for the beginning of a session the palette nice and clean and sometimes it takes two or three passes of the palette. And let's see here. I'm getting in trouble right here. What am I going to get when I mix those colors together? Well, 
that could be very usable too. So I don't like to throw away excess paint when cleaning up the palette. Um, even at the end of a, a painting session, I will often keep the paint and put it into a little uh, a little plastic uh, plastic wrap. So I'm just going to scrape this over here and put it right here, right there, and that gives me now an area, a uh, clean area to work with. So we'll do that. And now, once I've once I've got the major part, this is just plain old rubbing alcohol. Got that idea from Richard Schmid to do the final cleaning of the palette. It works perfectly. Just cleans up all that residue. It also cleans up the oil uh, or the, the residue from the uh, Gamsol and gives the, the palette more tooth, uh, especially if you're using a, either a wooden palette or a plastic palette where the colors have a tendency to want to get embedded in the palette. Um, and in the glass palettes, they, it doesn't happen so much, but the rubbing alcohol makes a wonderful, wonderful final cleanup tool. And it's, uh, it's not harmful, like some of the solvents. I like to use home remedies as much as possible. Um, I find that a lot of the a lot of the materials that, that are available in the market that are very expensive are really not necessary. Um, a lot of times we can use things around the house to um, to clean up our our palettes and our brushes, and we do just as well. Now there you go. Now the next thing I would do, talking about the value line palette, the next thing I do is to reset the palette. So, uh, it, it, different people have different ways that they set their palettes up. A lot of people like just to squirt fresh colors out. Um, a lot of people like just to keep the colors around the edge. I like to keep mine around the edge all the time so I can see my colors. But here's what I mean by a value line, is I, and I have it right here, uh, is that I, I set up a line of color that goes from the darkest dark to the lightest light. And I would do the same thing with the ultramarine blue here. And also with this when I don't buy it, I would set up that value line again and then I'd be ready to go again. So whenever uh, whenever you're in the middle of a painting and you feel you feel confused and you look down and you find out you might feel confused because your palette's confused, it's like a breath of fresh air. Clean that mess up, save the paint. It makes a nice, wonderful neutral. You'll be surprised how, how you'll be reaching into that and can actually enhance your painting uh, by using those colors. So, or if you found this one helpful, if you have something that's confusing you, something you'd like for me to address, leave a comment right down here and we'll put it on our schedule for a quick tip. We have our full length lessons at dianemice.com. Uh, those are full hour lessons available either download or DVD all kinds of ideas to explore. Go over there and take a look at the titles in the descriptions to see if something might not interest you. And there's your quick tip.